cybersecurity analyst, is one of the fastest growing jobs in tech. Here's exactly how to become one in 2026, step by step. We'll go through the skills you need, the best certifications, and how to get hands-on experience that actually gets you hired. Let's dive in. A cybersecurity analyst monitors systems, investigates alerts, and helps protect an organization from attacks. You'll usually work in a security operations center, a SOC, where you analyze suspicious activity, review logs, and respond to incidents. Think of it as being a digital detective, catching intrusions before they spread. Let's start with the foundation. If you want to become an analyst, you need to understand how computers and networks actually work, because everything you'll investigate, every log, every alert, connects back to how data moves through a network. Start with networking basics, IP addresses, ports, and common protocols. Understand what happens when a user connects to a website or sends an email. Learn how operating systems work, both Windows and Linux, and get comfortable with the command line for troubleshooting and log analysis. Free resources like TryHackMe's pre-security path, Professor Messer's CompTIA videos, and Free Code Camp's networking lessons are great places to start. Once you've built your foundation, it's time to validate your skills. Certifications help you stand out and show that you're serious about your career. Start with the ISC2 Certified in Cybersecurity. It's free and well-recognized. Then move on to CompTIA Security Plus, the most popular entry-level security cert. If you want to work in a SOC, add Splunk Fundamentals 1 to show you understand CM tools. But remember, certifications open doors. Real-world skills get you through them. Now, let's talk about experience. This is where most people fail. They keep studying, but never practice. You need to build your own home lab. Use VirtualBox or VMware to set up one Windows machine and one Kali Linux machine. Then simulate small attacks and study what happens in the logs. For example, run a simple port scan on your test machine and look at how it shows up in your log viewer. You'll start to recognize normal versus suspicious activity. That's the kind of skill you'll use daily as an analyst. Platforms like TryHackMe, CyberDefenders, and Security Blue Team Labs give you real SOC-style challenges. Every time you finish a project, document it. Take screenshots, write short notes, and share your work on LinkedIn or GitHub. That's how you build a portfolio that proves your skills. Now here's where it gets interesting. As you practice, you'll start to think like an attacker. You'll realize that every alert, every log, tells part of a story, and it's your job to uncover what the red team tried to do. This is what separates average analysts from great ones. When you can predict how attackers move, which system they'll target next, which exploit they'll try, you stop reacting and start defending proactively. That mindset shift from red to blue is when you become a real cybersecurity analyst. Once you have your fundamentals, one or two certs, and some lab experience, you're ready to apply. Start with realistic entry-level roles. SOC Analyst Tier 1, Junior Security Analyst, or IT Support with a Security Focus. A typical day might start with checking alerts in your SIM. You'll investigate failed logins, review suspicious emails, or isolate a computer showing odd traffic. Sometimes it's nothing, just a user mistyping a password. Other times, you'll stop an actual malware infection before it spreads. That's what makes this job exciting. Your first 90 days as an analyst will be all about learning. You'll shadow senior analysts, handle low-level alerts, and slowly take on more responsibility. Don't stress if you don't understand everything at first. Nobody does. What matters most is showing curiosity and consistency. That's what builds trust in a SO team and helps you grow faster than you think. On your resume, focus on what you can do, not just what you've studied. List the tools you've used, the projects you've completed, and the results you achieved, even from your lab work. And don't underestimate visibility. Posting your progress online often gets you noticed faster than any job portal. After you land your first role, focus on leveling up. Once you understand the daily work of an analyst, you can specialize. You might move into incident response, threat hunting, cloud security, or digital forensics. Advanced certifications like CompTIA CISA Plus, CISSP, or Blue Team Level 1 can help you take that next step. But experience always comes first. Every ticket you solve, every incident you handle, and every investigation you run, that's what builds real expertise. Let's quickly recap. Learn the fundamentals, get certified, build a lab, and show your projects. Apply for entry-level roles like SOC Analyst or Junior Security Analyst. Then keep learning, keep improving, 
and specialize once you're ready. That's the fastest and most realistic way to become a cybersecurity analyst in 2026. If you want to know which cybersecurity certifications are actually worth your time, check out my certification tier list next. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.